Hey guys, and welcome back to Refactorissimo with Arumba. How's it going, man? It's going well. How are you doing? I'm doing all right after the uh, that massive biter attack that we just had. Yeah, there's a little bit of a yeah, yeah. You can just see the corpses disappearing now. But yeah, the uh, we got a, a big attack from the top left. Yeah, um, and they killed all of our coal, <laughs> or they tried to, and we just said no. Said no, we need that coal. It's important to us. And uh, yep. So yeah. Um, so we've we've got progress, right? We know now how to. Yeah. So we can we can get the zone marker thing that I've got here. Um, actually marking out biters or biter bases. So right now, instead of let's remove that, remove that. And zone, uh, what were we using? Top diagonal left, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is enemy spawner, enemy enemy unit spawner signal. So that's the name of all enemy unit spawners. Like they, there is no yep. like specific type. Nope. There's enemy unit signal, enemy unit spawner signal, and enemy turret signal. Hmm. So if we use that, then. Oh, okay, so like the, the big worms and stuff, they'll have their own... Yeah. Gotcha. So technically, there should be a... A, um... Enemy unit spawner signal that we can use. If it finds one. I don't know what distance we would want this tile scanner up to, though. I don't know, but uh, I know I don't want the biters to be coming in here kicking our mining areas but we're out of coal by the way like like there's not much coal left okay uh what's the thing called again yet another resource monitor it's resource there i'm gonna yeah, double those because there's not much coal left in this deposit okay and didn't we we kind of talked about this between episodes we think there might be a way to actually kind of use aai to to replace yarm yeah, you know, to make like, your own yarn. yeah yeah like keep track of the amount of detected deposits and then if the deposit is X, then, you know, increase scanning range, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, that's curious. So, <laughs> Yarm doesn't play too well with uh, AAI miners. Nope, no, it's not, never mind, not true. It updated. It actually is giving us an ETA. Estimated time to depletion, 18 minutes. 1132 coal per minute. That's a, that's a really fast mining rate right there. Right, I was going to automate the production of walls and uh, landfill. I do re recall I was going to do that, so let's get some of that going. Um, um what is this? It's enemy unit spawner. Alright, so I've got it set to mark enemy unit spawners, and if there's no longer any enemy unit spawners there, it will unmark the enemy unit spawners. Awesome. It didn't sound like it was as uh, bad as I might would maybe have, would have expected. Nope. Just if it works. Can we get like a, a regular radar? <laughs> Just one? You saying that all these radars that you've built don't do anything? <laughs> well, they don't give me radars. They don't give me sight. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, first off, let's research red red radar so we can get radar mark two. No point in putting down. Better than that. Or sorry, worse than that. Worse than that. Get... Yeah. Oh, that's a fucking attack! Holy shit balls! Yeah, they're pissed because I uh, hey, I just come here. I, it just increase the the coal mining with Mark Twos. Yeah, you come here. Ah, uh, okay. I'll help. No, you are helping just by being there and repairing stuff. Um, son. Oh, we got radars. Nice. Yeah. What's the blue ones? Oh, we could get the blue ones. No, we can't. They require to actually make them. You need electronic circuit boards. Brass gear wheels, aluminum plate. Why can't I even research? Like, my research button's disappeared. Mm. 
Oh shit, no. It's not disappeared, it's just there's a million things behind radars too. I did not expect that. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's make a, a red radar, wherever they are. There. Red radar. Radar Mark II. I'm making one right now. Oh, so am I. Well, I'm doing it faster. I'm better than oh, you. Oh, mine's just already down. Well, damn it. Aha. Uh -huh. You won't even let me. Where's the derps? Are they. Oh, the derps are maneuvering. Why? They're going. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why? Did you did you actually program them to identify their base? Oh, yeah. Like, it's all programmed. They're, Sweet. They're going somewhere. <laughs> Sweet! I want a regular car so I can follow them. You know what, the hauler I think actually has faster movement speed than the gunners. So I'm just gonna drive a hauler. I'm just gonna walk, because walking has a fa faster movement speed than the gunners. <laughs> oh shit, that's actually really close. Yeah, you can see the, the first mark that's went down. Aww, oh, stupid, stupid my light mod not knowing how to program the lights for the machine. It's, I can't see as well now. Well, one of those can take out a lot of the little derps. He's just going to crash in. He's like, nope, yeah. I'm just going to crash into your base, bitch. I'm providing light. Uh, I... You know what we should maybe consider doing? <laughs> Look at that guy's running away. Yeah, man. He's actually running away. There's um, there's a mod. Have you ever heard of the mod? I actually removed it from my last campaign because it was causing performance issues, but... uh. Uh, rampant AI mod that makes the AI better. Like they actually, like do coordinated strikes and stuff. And that's cool. Oh god, there's a lot of them. So are we endlessly making these these chain gunners, or are they limited yeah. in their their quantity? No, we're endlessly making them. You remember how how oh, bad it got with the balls. Oh, Jesus. There are a lot of dudes Lancet. out there, man! And we have non-infinite resources. We can't keep wasting materials. All this stuff in my way, I can't even drive straight. Well, you were placing down turrets. What happened? I just placed down a couple Tolkien turrets. I didn't think we needed as many. Where are they right now? Where are they attacking? Uh, oh, okay. Ah, uh, they're, they're- yeah, okay, I found them all. Yep, they're right here. You got turrets? Yep. You got, got ammo? It. Yep. Okay. I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna have to take biter defense seriously in this campaign. My goodness. I'll admit I'm surprised. Yeah. We, uh... We- we just use normal on all settings, so we, it's not like we have space to build or anything like they're just right up next to us. Being jerks. Uh, so you think you want a few more than that? Kind of like this. Like... <laughs> <laughs> build a yeah. wall of turrets. Yeah... It needs to be a lot. They're not very nice. I was gonna say we're running out of uh, fuel, but we're not really. I run out of power, but we're not. It's just... We're having a... Fuel issues. Or mm, you, were having, no. you were having issues due to things getting busted? I moved some stuff around, I know I did that, but... Uh. Um. Okay, so this coal stuff mm. that we've got on the go, is there any... Did you say you added that, did you? Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay... 12 minutes until we've got no more coal. Great. Yeah, but we'll we have a we'll we have a healthy the... reserve. I moved it all. It's 115k in the warehouse over here. And we got the... plenty. Oh, in the warehouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's quite a bit in reserve. It's just, you know, something we should be aware of. Yeah. So what are these? Uh, 76, 77, and 788. Okay. Hollow controller, who's going to the coal? Wood, you are the coal. 76, 77, 78, so... Okay, now the hollow will go and pick up the coal from the... the miners. I'm getting attacked again. Great. Man, they are, are the ruthless, derps? aren't they? Are the derps actually fighting more shit? 
Like clearing out more I, stuff. I hope so, because they doesn't seem like they're gonna give us any rest, are they? Well, the drops are just chilling just now. Well, I blame um, you for that. Thank you. One of the things I was wanting to do though was. <laughs> I was wanting to move that out. Okay, and do plus chain gunner ID. Okay. Just in case you need it, for no real reason, I decided to automate the production of red and green wire. Because you seem to be using, using a lot of it. I'm mm -hmm. using a lot of it. Yeah, you are. You, you are using a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much stone. Stone's not being used. This stone should really be going into here. Ooh, boilers one. Don't mind if I do. I get chain gunner ID. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hmm. I need to, uh, CJ, I need to, I need to get organized here. This, this whole not having a bus thing, this chaos thing, is, it's not going, it's no, it's not going. <laughs> we also have no iron production because I'm not sure when or why, but your, uh, your sapphire delivery hauler has decided to take a vacation. Okay. There's tons of sapphire in the miners, and it's not being hauled. Yeah, let me let me figure out this shit first, and then I'll. Yeah, iron's not important. Don't worry about it. It's cool. Okay. So why the fuck is that doing that? Was there a, a change, and we're no longer able to make mining vehicle Mark II's? I don't know. Oh, look at that! Yeah, there was an update. You actually have to research the mining vehicle Mark II now. He gave hey. it. Hey! <laughs> Son of a gun! I was gonna say I I know we have them, but why? Why are I cannot make them anymore? I guess for now I will be your hauler, Stejo. Okay. I'm not happy about it. I don't appreciate it. But I I want Sapphire, so Okay, fuck that for now. For now or in general? For now. I'll sort it later. I don't know what's happening with the chain gunners at the moment. I think we might actually need to put down some lights. I was fucking around with the chain gunners, like moving them about a bit. Um, trying to get this sorted, and they're currently just charging through trees and things, getting all confused. There we go, let's just do that. No, that's cool that the uh, they're actually gated behind technology now. Yeah, I, I do agree. I think that that's that's for the best. What was for the sapphire hauler? The sapphire hauler. Yeah, okay. he's not doing his job. Okay. Um. Well, we gotta we, we gotta decide like where we actually want to build a base and a bus and all that stuff because we are definitely having some some really crazy spaghetti problems at the moment. Yeah. 
So um, let's go with 80. Actually, what are you? 81. So we'll go and collect. Uh, I'll tell the staff right holler to go and collect from minor 81. Okay, it's currently going for minor 14, <laughs> which I don't think that's right. Okay, so when it gets, when Holler 81, which is the one right in the middle of everything, gets over a thousand, I think it is, which should be soon, then the Safari Holler should go and pick it up. That's 900. Okay, and I do remember that I was not happy with my current layout because this is actually not efficient. So I'm gonna take the time to update this All right. See, he's Holler's off. setup. He's off yep. the See, okay, good. Stuff. Good. Stuff. Glad to hear it. And he should just like charge in there and pick up everything from all of them. Yeah. Oh, bollocks. What's he doing wrong now? Ah, I forgot I needed to sort that. So I've got it set to... Um, he goes back if he's got too much ore in him or if the... He goes back if he's got too much ore in, in him he'll go and drop it off. If he's got over a, like a thousand or two hundred ore or whatever the fuck it is. Or he'll go and pick up if the mining vehicle's got over a thousand ore. But if both are correct, so if he picks up from a different mining vehicle and has too much ore in him and the mining vehicle's got too much, then it adds both signals together and sends them off fucking to bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> Makes so, sense. Yeah, a couple of issues there. Right, you are sitting on the slot he's wanting to try and get to, so yeah. So, uh, one of the mods that were, or one of the tweaks we used in Bob's config was, uh, for the sake of performance, we were concerned about, you know, all these pro program I I'm having a hard time saying the word programmable. Don't know why, <laughs> I just can't seem to say it. Um, the magical. Yeah, the pro, pro magical mods, we'll just call them those. And, uh, so one of the things that, that I did in the config was I, I made it so that inserters don't have drain, which helps with performance but they end up costing slightly more power. Mm -hmm. So I guess the question is, considering that the drain is the factor, I think, with no drain, that a fast inserter is probably more energy efficient than a regular inserter, because even though it does use more power, it's much faster, and it only causes power at all when it's being used. So yes. should we just use blue inserters, like, like everywhere? I use blue inserters everywhere regardless. Well, it's a good enough reason for me. Pretty much, anyway. Alright, so the holler is kind of working, kind of working just now. That stuff does need tweaking, though. Okay. I think my I think my coal hauler's broke as well now. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that shit needs tweaking. Right. It's fine if there's just one miner on the spot, because he'll just go and pick up from that miner and come back. But when there's multiple miners and he's got a chance to pick up from things that aren't being read, etc. Then he just gets, he gets a, a bit confused. confused yeah. mm -hmm. I don't think your coal, your coal hauler has been working either. I think all no, of your haulers kind of... Currently, yeah, they all got shut down. The wood one The wood fine. one? Why was the wood one working? Because he had a because specific vehicle ID or something? Well, it's only one one miner, one hauler, so um, he'll go and pick up if there's more than a thousand wood, and then he'll go and drop it off. And then he'll wait for a thousand wood and go and pick up. So there's never a chance that he'll have issues. Okay. Whereas the rest of them, they may. Ah, uh, right.
Oh, unfortunately, it's not time though. Man, you are right on cue. Like, yeah. you, you, you're just like sitting there, like staring at your other monitor. <laughs> well, it's blinky and red. Ugh, but as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. All right, see you in a bit.